Warning, sensitive images. Be veg, go green, to save the planet. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programas ofrecen muchas lenguas. Ve y visite suprememastertv.com barra oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Наши программы предлагают много языков. Пожалуйста, посмотрите suprememastertv.com касательно Ташкеду. Most people consider themselves animal lovers. And most people go through their day, day to day, eating animals. And they go through their day, day to day, not thinking about the impact that that has. But what you and me and many of the viewers here today understand is that Through our food choices alone, we impact dozens, dozens of animals every single year. John Oberg, vegan, a voice for the voiceless part one of two. Continue watching to find out more. Merhaba, sevimli izleyiciler means hello, lovely viewers in Turkish. I'm Ebru. The kind-hearted people of Turkey wish you and our beautiful planet to be filled with peace, harmony, and everlasting bliss. Greetings, our global viewers, and welcome to our show featuring animal advocate, Mr. John Oberg. Mr. Oberg spends his life and career creating an awareness of the painstakingly cool treatment towards animals through social media platforms and has been an empathetic voice for the animals with over 200 million impressions of his content on social media. John was born and raised in Detroit, Michigan, and is now living in Richmond, Virginia. He studied at Arizona State University and earned a degree in nonprofit leadership and management, which he puts to good use on his formidable journey of animal advocacy. Let's start by hearing how changing to a vegan diet altered John's perspective on animal cruelty. The decision to stop eating animals and to become vegan was the best decision I've ever made in my life. I did it because I didn't want to contribute to animal cruelty anymore. I definitely felt like a weight has been lifted from my shoulders and it's been a beautiful thing. I feel like I can now live in confidence knowing that my actions from day to day aren't causing unnecessary animal suffering. Because if I'm not willing to cause harm to an animal, why should I pay someone else to cause harm to an animal? And I believe that this is a concept that everybody can get behind because nobody likes animal cruelty. Nobody wants to support animal cruelty. Unfortunately, most people are unwittingly doing that through their food choices. And so if we can create our food choices centered around the idea of compassion and empathy for others, we can each make a really big difference. John Oberg has become a social media influencer and networking expert for animals' rights and advocacy against the horrific treatment towards animals. His advocacy has encouraged multitudes of people to join the compassionate new world of the plant-based diet. He 
His dream and passion are to see a vegan world here soon, where people have love and empathy for each other, including all the animals, and choose to eat plant-based foods so that animal cruelty can end. Most people consider themselves animal lovers, and most people go through their day, day to day, eating animals, and they go through their day, day to day, not thinking about the impact that that has. But what you and me and many of the viewers here today understand is that through our food choices alone, we impact dozens, dozens of animals every single year. Hundreds or probably thousands, potentially even tens of thousands over the course of our lifetime. And so that gives us animal advocates a really big opportunity to make a really big difference for these animals because each one of us can make a really big impact. John started working in the animal advocacy movement full time in 2012 with vegan outreach. He traveled all the different states in the U.S., handing out leaflets at college campuses and on street corners. He absolutely loved doing this and found such eminent joy within. He did this for several years, sometimes even living out of his car, traveling from one city to the next, dedicated and devoted to spreading information and creating awareness of the inhumane practices in the abattoirs of animal factory farms and the processes of animal livestock raising. Unfortunately, John's time on the road had to end abruptly when his mom was diagnosed with a stage 4 cancer. My mom was my best friend. My mom was everything to me in the world. And, uh, and so uh, we were both just absolutely devastated. And so I decided to take a hiatus from vegan outreach, from touring, um, because obviously I couldn't be touring because I was now going to take care of my mom full time. And it was the best decision I made. I'm so happy that I was able to take care of her. But we would occasionally go to colleges locally in, in Michigan, and, and she'd hand out wheel, uh, leaflets from her wheelchair um, because she was such a boss. Uh, and it was so, so great. I love those memories of, of her. Wow. How incredible that John's mom, at her most vulnerable stage in her life, still put herself out there to assist her son in being the voice for our beautiful animals. What amazing, compassionate, caring voices they are indeed. Joyful viewers, we will just pop outside to share loving words with our potted plants, thanking them for flowering for us so beautifully every day. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We will be right back. Be vegan. Make peace. Loving viewers, welcome back to our show as we continue with the advocate and social media influencer, John Oberg. While taking care of his courageous mother, John decided to pick up his work with vegan outreach. This time, the opportunity arose to take over the social media for the organization, which not only gave him the opportunity to spend more time taking care of his beloved mother, but also inspired his career of social media advocacy. I wasn't super thrilled about it, but I was like, I guess I'll give this a shot. And then what I quickly realized is, wow, in one single day of effective social media advocacy, I could reach as many people as I did in months or even years of face-to-face -face, traveling around North America, handing out leaflets. 
And so I realized, wow, social media is such a really, really big impact. So I worked for Vegan Outreach for two years, and I worked for another animal advocacy organization called the Humane League for three years, running and overseeing their social media presence. Next, John shares with us his approach to using social media as a successful tool to create awareness for the plight of our animal friends. I look at the treatment that farm animals face in today's world as something that is legal or that is just absolutely cruel and unbelievable, but it's legal in standard practice. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Most of them go surround money. And so what farm animals experience in 2020 in today's world is absolutely awful. The plus side is the vast majority of people don't know. So that gives us an opportunity to raise awareness and to talk about what farm animals are experiencing because the vast majority of people out there would not be comfortable with extreme confinement for months on end with mutilation without painkillers um, and all the just awful egregious cruelty that farm animals ex experience. And so for me, I use my social media platforms and I encourage other advocates to use their social media platforms to raise awareness to the cruelty that animals endure, but also to inspire and empower people to make decisions that are kinder for animals. And so for me, I'm very strategic with how I use social media. It's not all doom and gloom all the time. These are my social media feeds were just a consistent stream of undercover abuse videos. Uh, I would have a lot of people start to turn away. So I really try to post a blend of content that isn't going to uh, alienate my audience, that isn't going to make them shy away. I try and sprinkle in the really heavy stuff as much as I can, but also work to inspire and empower my audience. After years of working and observation, John generously shared with us his insightful knowledge of the effectiveness of using social media. Social media really provides us this incredible opportunity, whether it's us as animal advocates or other people fighting for other causes. Social media allows us this great opportunity to spread the word, to raise awareness to advocate in a way that humans have never been able to advocate before. In the history of humankind, we've never been able to send messages in an instant to any corner of the globe in an absolute instant in massive numbers day in and day out. So each one of us can reach thousands or even millions of people all over the globe if we're using social media strategically. And again, that goes for the animal protection movement or any movement in general. If you have a cause that's worth fighting for, social media provides this really great opportunity to use your voice. Thank you, John, for your diligent, dedicated, and passionate work boosting the awareness of animal cruelty to the world at large. May all of humankind appreciate how precious our animal friends are, so that one day soon all animals will be free from suffering. For more information, please visit johnoberg.org, patreon.com forward slash johnoberg. Elegant viewers, thank you for your company today. Please join us again next Friday, May 21st, for the concluding episode of this program. Coming up next is The Phoenix, Part 6 of 13, and Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. May your days be filled with love and laughter. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash VE. Be a hero. Be vegan. Save the world.